How you going, Harvey? Good. Good, mate. Can you open your folder, get your cards out, open to your homework, please? Fabulous. Concept cards, spelling cards, reading cards. Good. How'd that homework go? Good. All right, I'm just gonna get you to read just a few words to me. Okay, now let's make sure that we get that tongue in the right place when we say the th or th sounds. Okay, take your time. Then. Have another go. Thin. That's, that's good. Thick. Have another go. Thin. Keep trying, you'll get it. Think. Good one. Thack. Have another go. Thank. Nice sounding out. Thank you, Harvey. Think. Have another go. Thick. Nice. Throb. That's a bit on the end. Have another go. Throb. Throb. Well done. That's good. Okay. So it's good to see that tongue coming out. Good man. Because we talked about that last lesson, didn't we? Here's a word you don't see often. Piv. Yeah, that's it. On the end. Have another go. Piff. Yeah. Get that tongue out. Piff. Good stuff. Smith. Yep. Muff. Beautiful. How'd your times go? Oh, I didn't write any times there. All right. Oh, here they are over here. Okay. Yeah. yeah sorry, missed them. Good, good, good. All right. So reading all the time, no guessing. <laughs> good stuff. All right. Here's your new one, half. Oh, I need to put a hole in it. I can't plan. Where would I put my hole punch? I had it out just before. Right oh, here we go. Right in front of me. Hiding in plain sight, mate. So this is a story. Same deal. I'm going to get you to read it three times in one sitting, B for best time, and then on another day, three times again, best time. Yeah. Pop that in on top and you can get yourself a sticker for the last homework. Beautiful. Good job. All right, pop your folder gently down on the ground next to you. Wall banger, what are we looking at? Good. Can you spread them out close to yourself? And when you've got them all flat, I'll get the timer ready and we can time you putting them out. Ready. Ready? Let's go. Say them out loud, helps you get them in the right order. Okay, keep them close to each other so we don't run out of room. J K K L M N. I'm just going to use this recording sheet if you want to come and have a look over my shoulder. Q. This is the second one, so Harvey's uh, been at it for a while. I'm just going to write the date. T and I, U in a moment, we'll get Harvey to check whether he made any errors. Okay. W X O A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Alright, Harv, here's the toddler own. Have a careful check to see that everything's pointing in the right direction and in the right place. C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S 
Z. How's it look? Good. All right, let me have a quick look. Looks all right to me. I think it might I think it might be a clean sweep. Excellent. Here, can I get you to give every letter a tick? Why don't you save the letters as you tick? K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. And your time was one minute and ten seconds. Can you write it? I'll write it here for you. So you go. Oh, do you want me to write it or do you want to write it? I'll write it. Write a one with a dot dot and ten for ten seconds. Brilliant. Okay. So, Harv, you might notice this is the second sheet. I'll stuck it over your first sheet. Yeah. Okay, so we've been at it for a while, haven't we? Haven't we? Remember when we started? Lots of reversals, lots of missed letters. And now, with the uppercase alphabet, look, clean sweeping it. All right, shut your eyes, mate. I'm going to do some mucking around. Okay, I'm going to, while you're not looking, I'm going to turn two letters backwards. And I'm going to disappear. Two letters. Okay, eyes open. Two letters are backwards. Two letters are missing. Oh, straight away. Good. Yeah, J, J and K stand back to. Back. Good. N. How do you know N's the right way? It is, by the way. Because uh, it's got the line. Pointing down to the line in which letter? Z. Beautiful. Q. Oh, there you go. M N O P Q. All right. Going to say four letters. You're going to try and hold them in your memory. Yeah. And then you're going to put them in front of you. But before you put them in front of you, you got to say them out to me. Yeah. All right, so I'll say, you say, put them I'll put out. It in the middle. Got it. Ready? Yep. B, F, M, O. B, E, F, O. Now, what the, the mistake you made was, is you looked down and that made you forget. So don't look down, say them back to me before you look anywhere. Ready? B, M, F, O. B, M, O. F O B. Put them in front of you. M F O. Let's put them in the order I said them. Oh, you did it that way. Good on you. Being in good stuff. Okay, put them in the box. I see you did. Okay, next four. You ready? Yeah. Remember, say them back before the eyes go down. D, K, P, V. D, P, K, V. I'll go again. D, K, P, V. D, K, P, V. D, K, P, V. Okay, put them in your order, I said. D, V. Okay, so the order was D, K, P, V. D, K, P, V. Beautiful. Pop them away, pop everything else away. Good job. It's so tempting to want to start looking at the letters, isn't it? To try to remember them, but it actually doesn't help, it makes it worse when you're trying to hold on to the letters in your head. Yeah. Alright, good stuff. Alright, quickly follow up, get it, your Kilpatrick stuff. We'll do that quick, 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 quick in alphabet time. Alright, where is it? Where are your one minute activities wallbanger? There they are. Okay, thinking about sounds. What are we thinking about? Sounds. Or phonemes to use the fancy language. Okay. If we need our fingers, we'll use them. Okay, can you say an? An. Say an, but instead of n, say t. T. 
Anne. Have another ten. go. Ten. Get Anne on your fingers. Anne. Anne. At n, right? N. Instead of n, say t. At. At. Well done. All right. Say it. It. Now say it, but instead of t, say f. If. Well done. Say dish. 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 Instead of sh, say d. D. Did. Nice. Say am. Am. Instead of m, say n. N. Good. Say out. Out. Instead of t, say ch. Ouch. Say map. Map. Instead of p, say n. Mm. Let's get map on the fingers. Ready? Mm, app. Map. Right. Instead of p, say n. Man. Mm. Nice job. The fingers. Good. Say eight. Eight. Instead of t, say p. Eight. Good. Ooh. Say has. Has. Instead of z, say d. Had. Nice. Say us. Us. Instead of s, say v. Of. Of. Nice. Say fix. Fix. Instead of x, say t. Fit. Nice job, man. All right, well, there you go, Harv. Uh, mostly, mostly quick ticks, couple of fingers there. We'll just keep working on that level. He'll be graduating from that fairly soon. All right, I'm going to get you with mum to do that one there. We're on L1. Yeah, and well done on that. I can see, glad to see the fingers came out there. That was us last time. So I'm glad to see you using the fingers when you need to use the fingers without any worries. Because the fingers are how we get it in the brain. How do we get it in the brain? Fingers. With the fingers, good stuff. All right, just pop that down on the ground. All right, card time, Harvey Wallbanger. Yay. We'll kick out those for the time being. We'll just keep the phonogram cards in and we'll time you. All right. Thin bathers. Time already? Ah, oh, you're practicing thin bathers. Zzz. All right, shall we do our reading cards? Yes. All right, ready when you are. Maybe mm, dog dirt, bat but Dog dirt, high eye, ill it. Apple white, other side, paper A. Bat but duck, neaten, race through, cook cut. I'll bite at in your e, cook cut. Without the schwa. Cook kick. Kick, good. Hanky hut. Without the schwa. Hanky hut. Good. Peep. Good. Shh. Sheep. Shh. Sheeps. Good. Practice that again. Snakes, spinzers, kick cut. Without the schwa. Kick. Teeth. Good. Open eye on up. Good. Fins, they th. Good. Hanky hut. Without the schwa. Hanky hut. Good. Sheeps. Good. Well done. Nice job on the new TH card because last time, was our, what the last thing we did? We did TH, didn't we? Yes. And the two phonemes that TH can make, which is. <sighs> And ugh, here I'm going to hand you the mirror. I'm going to get you to say your two words on there. Make sure that that tongue is coming out while I'm putting these away. <laughs> nice job, Harvey. I don't think I've ever had a kid get the and the so fast. And when you go, your nose goes open a bit. Like goes. Open. Does it? Flares? Does it? Yeah, it goes. Right. Well, there you go. Let's write your time down, Wallbanger. Uh, 43 seconds the day. Third, the third. 43. And so it's 43 because we had to put some cards back in to have another go. I, was, yeah. I picked on you about pure sounds today, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why they went back in. All right, so that's a good time. Now these ones. Yep. Before we do, let's just quickly, can I get you please to read your contractions from bottom to it's, top? Bottom it. to top. Hadn't, didn't, hasn't, isn't, it's. Point to the one that used to be did not. Good, what is it? Didn't. Now it's a contraction, good, it's didn't, excellent. Why okay. did you change these? Oh, because they were diff two different colours, good spotting, and it was a bit messy, I had red for some and black for others, and I thought I'll make them all black. Since that one there? Tur, tur, spur, dur, bur. Good one. Spinner, sn, st, sp. Good. Point to the one that begins the word spring. Good job. All right. Now onto the concepts, hey? Concepts, hey. That's reading cards done. 
broke a rubber band like normal. You one out. Okay. Thank you. Give them a shuffle. I hope I shuffled those. I can't remember if I shuffled those. I don't know I should shuffle. All right. I won't, I won't time this today. Okay, let's we go. We use K in front of... We use K after... A, a consonant. We use C before a consonant. K after a consonant. We use C... A close... Read A close. A close to the blunt ends in a consonant. That's only short. A, 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 A. No, nice. They... We use K after a consonant. We use C before a consonant. Good. We use C, K at the end of one syllable word after a short there. Nice. A opens a syllable as a club word, every syllable must have lesson. We use K in front of E R Y we use C everywhere else. Long vowels A E I O U. A open syllable and vowel vowel sound is on A E I O U. Short vowels. A I E I O U. The consonants not vowel. Vowels A E I O U and sometimes Y. A close syllable ends in the consonant vowel sound is short. A E I O U. Quickly, quickly families for me. Okay. Real quick. We don't always do families, but I'm going to show you everything today, folks. Families with the concept cards just helps them cement the connections that things have to each other in concepts. Done. Okay. Tell me what's going on with this family over here. Uh, these are syllables. Okay, so a syllable is a clapper beat in the word. Syllables come in two types. What? Well, they come in more than two types. We've just done two so far. We have. Uh, um, open syllables. Which have a long symbol and long vowel sound. Long vowel sound, and we have closed syllables that are short vowel sound. Good. Now we've got our two, our three cards. We'll put those together. Why have I put all of those together? They all. The CK rules. And they're about which sound or phoneme, which sound. K. Okay. That's right. And these here, why have I put vowels and consonants together? Because the, the vowels are um, sort of, the consonants are the opposite of vowels. Yeah, they do different jobs. And those two types of letters make up the alphabet. What do vowels and consonants make up? The Two different types of the alphabet. They make up the alphabet. Good, pop those away. Good. Put them in a pile. All right, can you get your writing book out, please, Harv? Ready to do our spelling card drill? So that was that was our reading card drill and our concept card drill. What we just did. So they're the two white packs. Reading uh, reading cards, concept cards. They get done at home as well. Now we're about to do the spelling cards. All right, Harv, using a pen today. Good, oh, we've already done some. I'm glad we did the line highlighting. Okay. All right, we've got our hand beneath the line. Us lefties, well not us lefties, but left handers need to make sure that hand's below the line. All right, let's go. S, S is S. Good. H is H. H is H. Beautiful. Now do me another one without schwaring it. H is H. H is H. Three ways to spell K. K, With K is K. K is K. K is C. K. Okay, let's go again because that guy's name is C. So three ways to spell K again. K is C, K is K, K is C, K. Now say them and do them. K is C, K is K, K is C, K. Okay, good. D. D, D is D. Good, right way today, that's good. Z, like in bins. Z is S. Good. A. A is A. Good. P. P. Is P again without schwa? P is P good? It it is I. It it is I good. It it is E good. It again. It is I good. Sh is S H good. 
What's your method? Mm. Mm is N. Eyes on me. N. Mm. N mm is N. Can I have a M mm is M without the McDonald's stuff going on? M mm is M. Well done. T, t is T. Good. R like in path. Path. Or our naughty word, ass. R is A. Good. That's a nice. That's a nice open mouth R. Can you do it again and say R is A. R is A. Good. But. But is B. Good. Off. Off is O. Good. Watch my mouth for this one. Is T H. Good. That's our new one. Let's do the voiced one. Z. Z is T H. Good. Er, like in race. Er is er. Now, it's, you just said it's phone name twice. What we're saying is er is ah. Uh. Off you go. Er is ah. Uh. Down, do it again. Er is ah. Uh. Er is ah. Uh. Good. O, like in open. O is o. O is o. Harvey, eyes on me. Our sound is o, like in the word open. open. And the long sound O is being spelled with the letter O, so we say O is O. o. Your turn. O is O. Okay, what about if it was O? O is O. That's right, what if it was long O? O is O. For long O, we would say O is O. o. Okay, like in our first syllable of, eyes on me, like in our first syllable of open. If we have a look at the word open, it's two syllables. We've learned it divides there, yep. and the O sound in that first syllable is spelled with the letter O. So O is O. Give me three O is O's. O is O. O is O. O is O. O, good, another one. O is O. No, O, we're doing the long sound. So give me another two. Give me O is O. O is O again. O is O. Good. O is O. Good, so the sound O spelt with the letter O. What about if we're spelling the short sound O? We would say O is O. Your turn. O is O. Good. Harvey. Said. S A I D. Said. Go. S A I D. It's just the first few. Whoops, the wrong one. Yeah, the first few irregular words we've taught him. Said and does. Does. D O E S. Does. D O E S. I won't do them today, but we've also learned some contractions to structure, but I won't go through them with him for time. But every now and then I'll pick one or two out. Harvey, beautiful. Can I have does with the d is D, please, again? Spell does out loud for me. E I E S. That's good. Oh, sorry, I interrupted you. This is good, huh? We're starting to sort out this b d business, aren't we? This B D business. And it just takes practice, doesn't it? Good job, mate. All right, I'll put a smarty in your thing while you're putting that. Actually, don't put that away. We're going to need it for a tutor sheet. I'll put it there. Yeah, just push it. I think we'll get straight onto it now. There you go, mate. One for alphabet, one for drills. Good. Okay, sport, that's good. Okie doke. So this is our tutor sheet for today. We'll slide that straight back over. Yay. You like these? All right, answers are covered. All right, half. So some have pictures, some don't. So we have an onset phoneme and we have the rhyme in it. So we've got either, you look at the picture, so that is a path, and we have to choose which is the correct onset letter for it. And that's a blank thing. That's right, that one you'll do without a picture. So what do you think the right spelling of path is? The P. Okay, so spell path out loud using P letter names. No, not using letter names. P-A-F. Eyes down. P-A-T-H. And again? P-A-T-H. Without looking? P 
Excellent, you know what to do now, so I'll just, you can use these to cover. So. Oh, you still right. Oh, that'll do. Okay, good. Ah. Mm, off. What word are we doing? Moth. Now spell it out loud before we do anything. M-O-T-H. No, we're going to use... We're not... M-O-T-H. That's what we're doing. And again? M-O-T-H. Look away. M O T H. Beautiful hard. Let's get our feet on the thing, mate. Remember when we're writing, we're trying to sit up nice and straight, okay? A few things to think about, aren't we? Good. Okay, moving on. No picture. What's the word? T-H-A-T. You don't need to worry about that for this one. I just want you to get tell me what the sounds are. T-H-A-T. Good. What is the word, though? Fat. Is it... Look at me. Look at me, Harp. Is it that or that, do you think? That. That's the one on your card, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. That. That. Good. Cross your T. Oh. No, your first T. My first T. There oh, it is. Yeah. Good job. Keep going. Next one is... T-H- Hang on, before you do anything, before you do anything, what is the word? We're up to bath. Mm. Oh, bath, good, okay. So you, know, so you know it's bath, how are you going to spell bath? Wait, we were... Oh, bath. B-A-T-H. Good, without looking. B... Hang on, say but is B. But is B. Now I'm going to leave you alone now, but I want you to always spell it out loud before you write it. T-H-I-T. What's the other option? Fist. Okay, so we'll the first phoneme is th. It's this. Which is the real word. This. How do you spell it? T-H-I-S. This ink T H I N K Next one in fin fin T H I N That's an option to draw. Some kids don't like to do the drawing. But anyway, we won't do the drawing, but tell me what would if you were drawing, what would you be drawing? Eyes down. Pig. Eyes down, you're reading there. You would be drawing three. Thick sticks. Fix. You'd thick be, sticks. You'd be drawing three three thick sticks. Good, ready to check? Remember ticking each letter. Can I just show you an easier way to do this sport? Yep. Just when you're checking one word at a time, just do that and slip it up as you get to the next word. This one, P-A-T-H, P-A-T-H, M-O-T-H, T-H-A-T, B A T H T H I S T H I N K T H 
I N. Oh, good job. Looks pretty good to me, huh? All right, now, what you didn't show the folks was what you do if you make a mistake. You go back and uh, rewrite it. Yeah, we actually find the word and we rewrite the whole word, don't we? Mm -hmm. Instead of doing rubbing out and fixing, because we want our brain to think about all of the sounds and the letters in order, don't we? So we recode the whole word. Well done. Good job. Uh, pop that away. So Harvey, we just did the revision part of the lesson where we did a tutor sheet, mm -hmm. didn't we? Okay, so we move on to our next, ready for a new, new letter sound, new letter? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not going to show, show up to you yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put some words in front of you and I'm going to see how you go reading them and we'll see whether you know what I'm talking about. Okay, can you sound that out? Yeah, at, yet. Good. Yeah, yes, yes. Nice. Here comes a harder one. Yo, yo. Excellent. Notice the two open syllables? Mm. What makes them open syllables? Because there's nothing shown in the door and mm. there's no close syllable. No shutting in the door. Good, all right. What about this one? Yeah, yank, yank. Mm. Okay. Yam. Yam, with a suffix yam. Yam. Yams. See the S Yams. on the end? Yeah. They're like they're like wild potatoes. Good. Okay, ready for a two syllable one? Yep. You only get the two syllable one because you've read the one syllable one's beautiful. Take your time with that. I've already patterned, divided and coded it for you. Bet yep. Be yond. Be Beyond. 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 You've gone beyond my expectations, Harvey. Do what? I take these home with you? No, me? mate. They're just for me to teach. What do you think our new letter is today? Ye. Yeah, eh. So you know the ye sound? Ye. The name of the letter in the alphabet is Y. Ooh. So we're doing the letter Y making the sound eyes on me, the letter Y making the sound ye. Ye. Like in yet, yes, yo yo, yank, and yams, and beyond. I'm doing yo yo. Yo yo is the one? Yep. All right. Okie doke. I will, so your clue word is yo-yo. I will write the word on the back of your card. Can I get the textures? You sure can. Let's come watch this one here. I just want to show you what I'm doing. Can you see the card? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to write the letter on the front of the card. I'm going to write in red so we've got yo and actually I should do the cursive version shouldn't I? Yes. So I'm teaching you the cursive it's been naughty now. Yes. Let's see if I can fix up that first one probably can't then. Okay so our clue word is yo yo. Yes. Harvey the good thing about consonant y is that it makes the y sound so we can use the whole back of the card because now you don't need to worry about this, I'll just say this is the camera. When we get to vowel Y later on, that will be another reading card. All right, Harv, you've got the whole space to draw yourself a yo-yo as quickly as you can. And on your spelling card, Harv, I will write the clue word that you chose. Spelling card drills. I can say ye like in yo yo. We'll put that in with half spelling pack and then we'll better learn how to do this one. Yeah, yeah. Now the sound hard. This is a tricky one, and I sometimes have arguments with people about this one about the actual phoneme or sound. The sound is watch me. It's yo yo. Eyes on me, half because you need to see my mouth for this one. It's yo yo ye. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yo yo e. What's me? Oh, because it sometimes makes an e sound. No, good thinking. I like it, but no, the actual consonant sound is e, like in yo yo. Have it, and you kind of grin it when you say it. Say e. E. Yeah. Because you can sort of hear the y sound. Yeah, but we're trying not to schwa it. Oh, because the y and the e. So. We're just saying e. E. Now watch me. Watch me start with that phoneme and then turn it into a word. Ready? Yo yo. Yo yo. Can you hear it's like a e sound? Yeah. At the beginning it's yo yo. Oh. Yeah, or yo yo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You guys will be arguing about this all day now, I know you will. All right. Okay, Harv. So, we'd better learn to do this one. So, we'll do it down here on Actually, we'll do it straight in your book. Get your book out again, mate. Sorry. Now, the reason I get Harvey working in his book is because Harvey's left-handed. And if he was to work on my whiteboard on my table, he's going to be worried about dragging his hand across and erasing his own writing. If he was up at the whiteboard, it wouldn't be such a deal. But when Harvey's down here, I'm going to get him to do all of his stuff in his book so he doesn't, so he can get his hand right and not worry about dragging across his own text. All right, Harv, so I'll go first. We're going to... We're going to start right down here. The way we do the Y, actually, how about we just do it on here? Now, just by the way, folks, I've skipped over his intro sheet because I did a directed discovery teaching uh, using the cards, as you saw. You may also do a directed discovery teaching with a student by asking them what sound do they hear in yacht, yoga, yogurt, and yo-yo and the students would go through using the Elkonian boxes to tick where they hear the sounds. Ye. Harvey, you might as well do that, seeing we're, seeing we're just filming. Harvey, where do you hear the sound e in yacht, beginning, middle, or end? Good. Here. Good. What about in yoga? Here. Yogurt? Here. And yo-yo. Now, that second tick, we'll just remember, we'll just pretend we're doing one of the yo's, right? Okay. All right, Harvey, what did you notice about where the letter Y is, or where the Y sound is in all of these words? They're all at the start. Yeah, so most of the time, consonant Y making Y is at the beginning of the word. Where is it? At the beginning of the word. Okay, so the forming the forming of the lowercase letter Y goes like this, like all yep. we start on the line, yeah? Yep. What do you think? Yep. yep. Okay, so were you thinking it looks like this? Y is Y. Yes. Okay. Y is Y. Good. And again? G is Y. Good. G is Y. Good. Y is Y. Harvey, I'm going to take you straight down to the uppercase Y is Y now. I know how to do this, I think. Okay, where are you start? Yeah, go for it. Y is Y is Y. Ah, hang on, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Y is why? Ye is why. Ye is why. Ye is why. Okay. I'm going to take you straight over to freehand now because we, uh, just for you guys, the, the, sooner, the sooner we can get the kids doing it free without the tracing, the better we can. So, lowercase looks like this. Ye is why. Your turn. Give me three. Ye is why. Beautiful. And again. Y is Y. Good. Y is Y. Okay, my turn again. Uppercase is going to go right to our top line. Y is Y. Y is Y. Y is Y. Now, Harv, some people do an uppercase Y like this, just so you know, and I'm going to let you pick which one you like the most. Some people do this one. Y is Y. Y is Y. Which one's closer to the one that you know for an uppercase? This one. Okay, your turn. Off you go. Y is Y. Y is Y. Y is Y. Okay, Harv, can I have uppercase Y is Y? Actually, we'll start down here. Can I have an uppercase Y is Y and a lowercase Y is Y? Y is Y. Lowercase first, okay. And uppercase? Y is Y. Good. Okay. Now, can you please quickly, quickly, quick sticks underline? I'm going to get you to highlight. Actually, can you highlight 
the letter Y in all of these words? Just the Y. Just the letter Y, yep. Yeah. No. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Not this one. Why not? Oh. Yeah, there it is. But I thought it was just a U. Wherever the letter Y is in those words, you highlight it. Okay, so all of those letter Y's are making the sound, eyes on me are making the sound E. What are they making? E. Okay, let's read them. Take your time and sound out. Yuck. Give it a tick. Yes. Beyond. Beautiful. Yo yo. Yet. Yam, yams. Y yank. Nice job. Harvey. Another one I didn't put a hole in. Can you please put this one in your worksheets in your folder? I will put your consonant Y card in with the rest of your reading cards. Is it game time? Yeah, mate. Okay. did alphabet work, we did the drills, we did the tutor sheet, we just did the new teaching point which was the letter Y being a consonant. Hey um, I just picked up on something you said. Yes. You said something to me about, oh is this Y making a vowel sound and I didn't stop to talk to you about it then but I'm glad you said it. So you know the vowels are A, E, I, I O, U, U and sometimes so you know why I can make vowel sounds as well. Today we did the Y making its consonant sound, which is ye. But soon, a little bit down the track, we will look at Y making its vowel sounds. So I'm glad you mentioned it, Harv. All right, while you hang it while it's open, highlight Y because we've done that today. Good. And uh, oh, we're doing a benchmark next time. It's your first benchmark. Yeah. It's a test of how well I'm teaching. Alright, ready to go rock and roll? Yep. I'll okay, I wanted to play read and grab today. Yeah. Read and grab. Are you like, oh, you like read and grab, do you? No, I don't want to read. There's read and grab to 18, there it is. Okay. Okay. Alright, mate, I think this has got some non words in it as well. Yep. So we're going to have to decode, aren't we? Yeah. We always, always decode. Because guessing is for chumps, man. I'm going to need to use this for something. Alright. You want to start? Yeah. Sp on. Spawn. Nice. Oh, you got a non-word straight away. Drots. Drots. B ock. Bock. Dock. No, you were right the first oh. time, mate. Yeah, you're getting to that point where you get it right without even thinking about it. T oh, it's two syllables. T to can token. Took. Come on, look. I'd have another go at that if I were you. Tock. Better. Sure. Now remember, next time you guess, I'm putting it back to the bottom. It's usually the only way I can beat you. Oh, another two syllable word goes with that family. Ro robot. Rot in rotten. Oh, you did not just sound out that two syllable word. Oh, I'm building up my family of open syllable words. Open. Cotton in cotton. Have another go at that. That is a tough one. You need to take your time. Cotton. Let's do our first syllable. Co con. Good. What is it? Con. Let's do our second syllable. Content. Yeah. Contest. Content. Content. Or content, which means that 
the stuff in something. Yeah. Yeah, content. Or it also means to be, it's actually got two meanings. You can talk about the content. Oh no, this one's probably more like to be content is to be happy, isn't it? Yeah. But if we put an S on it, we're talking about the contents, which are the contents of this pot is lots of um, pens. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. Oh, no one's stolen anything from anyone yet. No. There's been no grabbing. There's just been reading. Oh, now there's grabbing. Shot. Spawn. No, there's grabbing. Prot. Ends. Protest. You got your second syllable right. Protest. Protest. Good. Open. Robot. Token. Good. What type of syllables do these all have as first syllables? Open or closed? Closed. Open. open. The first syllables. Good. How do you know? Closed has got no consonant. Good. So it's what's the open syllable in robot? Uh, O. What's the whole open syllable? O. Ro. Ro. That's right. Well done. Stock. Uh oh. Bock. Tock. I'm grabbing. Stomp, stomps. Good. Dot, struts. Nice. Spot. Oh, sorry, I read it wrong. Oh gosh, you know what I just did? I, I guessed it. Snot. Yeah, it's not. I'm putting it back to the bottom of the pack. I've got to play by my own rules. Prox, prox. Hock, hock. I've got to set finally. Oh, oh, wrong way. Snod, snod, snod. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. You gotta read that. Spot, mm, spun, shot, shot. All right. How are we looking, Harvey? I'm in a bit of trouble here. B oh, bon, bonded, bonded. Right. I'm taking rotten and content. Chaos, mm, ops. Cosmos. Cosmos. Good, and we'll make a z sound for that. Good decode, so we've got cosmos. Cosmos, good. There you go. Cotent, etent, content. Rot, etent, rotten. Dot, bonded. Beautiful, Harvey. What type of first syllables are all of these words? Close. 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 How do you know? Close. There's nothing shutting the door in there. No consonant. I'd, I'd ask that question again. Have a closer look. Are they open or closed? Open. What makes you say they're open? Oh, close. Good. What makes you say they're closed? Close. There's S N T N on there. So that consonant is closing the. S. Closing the door. Oh yeah. Good. All right, Harvey, we're getting down to the wire here. Now, normally I don't spend too much time like that, but sometimes I do, just reinforcing some concepts. Was it me or you? Me. Yeah, you. Crops. Crops. I'm taking crops, stomps, drops, and procs. Snot. Snot. I win. Oh, no, today's opposite day. If you have the fewer sets, you win. You're not believing me, are you? I win then. Oh, well done, mate. Good job. Nice reading. All right, Harv, uh, are your cards in your folder? Yeah. Yes, they're not in front of me. Good. Um, let's put those back in a pack. You can, here, you can grab yourself, or I'll put one of these in there, for, just because you're a champ. Actually, I think we'll put two in there. Oh, no, we'll put two in there, three down. I don't know. Harvey? Yes? What was your new teaching point today? What? Um, yeah. Ye. Ye is its phoneme. Good, well done. And what's the name of the letter? Yeah. What's the name of the letter? What do we call it when we're saying the alphabet? Yeah. That's its. Ye is its phoneme. Why? Why? Well done. Good. All right, sport. Got your folder. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, remember your homework. Remember your cards. Yeah. New homework's in, isn't it? Yeah. Good stuff. All right, mate. Good to work with you. See ya. And that's all right. Yeah. All right, Harvey. I'll uh, now come here, take the microphone.